Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. So today is the day. We're gonna make it to the desert today. We're gonna set foot and tire on the sand. The big day, what we've all been waiting for. But you might see behind me, there is now an extra bike. The proper bike for this adventure, the Africa Twin. Now this is Helmet Head's very own bike, and so is that. But this one has been ridden here by this man. This is Paul, for well, those of you that don't know him. Now Paul set off two days after me. Now you've had a few problems on the way down, haven't you Paul? Just a few. Just a yeah, few. Just a few. Do you want to tell us what happened, what went wrong? Um, basically I, I set myself the target of getting here within two days with uh, no sleep virtually. And, and you were going to uh, ride through the night? You ride through the night. I was riding through the night. I took a break at a service station and spotted that the tyre was a little bit past its best to Worst say the least where. It had um, a big bulge in it a big hole <laughs> yeah it made it made it 19 kilometers to a bike shop 20 kilometers away <laughs> before it blew out. <laughs> but he has made it he's been playing catch up trying to catch us up ever since so he was going to meet us on the it was going to be tuesday wasn't it when we came across that was the original from plan. al jazeera's to tangier but he has eventually caught us up here just in time to make the rest of the journey together to the sand. So with that, we're now gonna pack, finish packing the bikes up and crack on. So we'll see you in a bit. Folks, we have just stopped for a nice coffee, cafe au lait. Now, that's how you order here because we're now fluent in, I think it's French we're speaking. So it's cafe au lait. Just remember that. It seems to get you a white coffee. Anyway, we have got three hours and 13 minutes to get from here. We're up in the Atlas Mountains somewhere there. We're going to come around here. I think there's some lakes and stuff here. By the looks of it, that should be nice riding down there. We're back on some more main roads. Um, our end destination here, Tazu, I think it's called. Not Yazu, the singer. Tazu, which not, name's not coming up. But anyway, and then we are stopping tonight back here somewhere out in the desert. So 214 kilometers to go. We are a trio and we're gonna get the miles done. Taking some more lovely views uh, and get cracking. And a quick oil leak update. It's re something really weird's going on, right? I've, we've stopped before, and literally had a small puddle on the floor. We're stopping now and only getting a drop. It's still leaking oil. Not as bad, obviously. And there's oil in there, it's not all leaked out. So whether it's self-healing, it could be, 
Uh, maybe the bike's enjoying itself that much it's decided to stop leaking, which is what I'm hoping. But yeah, fingers crossed it stays that way. So folks, we have made it somewhere. Alan, when we started this adventure, or well, months before, he gave us a place that we were heading to called Tier Zoo, I believe. Now take a look at this place. Yes, that's right. This is very disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. This is... We've gone past all the nice sand dunes where we were dreaming we were going to end this or finish today. Um, but as usual, with Alan's 11 out of 10 skills, he's brought us out to an 11 out of 10 desert ending. It's not over yet. No, it's not over yet. Not this over is yet. not what we're, where we're going to finish today or, well, not finish, but this is not where we're ending for the trip for these. No, we're going to go back and we're going to find some proper desert sand dunes we hope <laughs> i've looked it up so leave it with me we're gonna go and find somewhere a lot better than this industrial dumping ground that we've been led to okay well that looks more like it than that so we're gonna go and see if we can get on those sand dunes Stuck already. That's it, the bike is stuck in the sand. We've made it. Who would have thought this time a week ago, when I was riding this across France the day before it was still in bits, it's got an oil leak. We've done 2,350 miles so far. 
that bike, old yeller, the old beast, that kept breaking down, that I kept having problems with, it is here. Look at it, it's in the sand. I can't believe we've actually made it. All those miles, all those hours, all those hours of work, I can't believe it, but we are here. The bike is stuck in the sand. These boys are gonna to have to help me push it out. We've only just touched the sand, but that's enough. That's enough. We've made it. What a relief. Right. I suppose we better see if we can get it out. Ah. That gets them to run away. <laughs> well, Alan's managed to get the monkey bike up there. We seem to be attracting some children. <laughs> but we've made it. Who would have thought it? Oh, we've touched the sand. Alan's now messing about. The local kids seem to be coming over, but I've got one more thing to do. I need to pay a debt. Now, obviously, Joe's been giving me a lot of help with the bike. He did a lot of things, went and picked the gearbox up. He's been over in his own time and everything. And before he left, he said, you owe me a bag of sand. Now, I was hoping, well I'm hoping that he's not using Cockney rhyming slang for I owe him a thousand pounds. So what we're going to go with here is literally a bag of sand from the Sahara. So I'm going to fill this bag up and that's going to be payment to Joe for all the help he's given me. So here is Joe's bag of sand. I hope he's going to be happy with this bag of sand because it's the only bag of sand he's getting. Oh, 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 but, oh, you have to get what? <laughs> <laughs> so some of these kids don't like the power of the camera. Oh, these are alright. Yeah, see. But for the rest of you who have helped get this here by donations and you buy me a coffee and all the parts that you've given me and everything. Wow, Thanks guys, wow. without you helping me as well, Go. we wouldn't have got here, without a doubt. Go. So thank Go. you all. Light out. Watch it, these lot, they are very shifty. <laughs> what? I never know. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I don't know what we're going to do now. We'll have to turn around and go home, I suppose. Four minutes away. Yeah, I know. It's only four minutes away. 
Uh, do you want to jump on the camel? I've just brought them over for you. Get ready, the wrong tyres and not enough speed in the sand and this is what happened. And could I pick that bike up? Not a chance. And also, nobody else could park their bike in the sand, so I was stuck. We got it back up, a bit of broken plastic, a scuff on the crash bars, and a slightly dented ego. Well folks, what an awesome day today has been. As you can see in the background there, we've got people riding camels. Hopefully you can see that with our bikes here lined up and we are in the desert. Look at that, who would have thought it? We've made it. I'm so pleased, so relieved. Um, we're now as a trio, but that's not the end of the adventure. We have still got four days, I think, before we need to get on that ferry. So where are we going next? How are we gonna to top this off? Well, you're gonna to have to wait till the next episode for that. Now we're gonna enjoy a beer, believe it or not, because we have found some. Um, look, look, just quickly, wow. That's from where I fell off. The track leading up to the hotel was a bit of a nightmare. Everybody got stuck. I fell off, as you saw, but the bikes are here and they're intact. Well, anyway, that's it. I'm gonna end it here. Wait till the next episode till we see where we're gonna go next. We're making some plans, but you're gonna to have to wait and see. But look, that old GS is here in the desert. You didn't believe it was going to happen, I didn't believe it was going to happen, but it's here. So if any of you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because the next adventure is going to be great. So keep watching, we'll see you soon, bye bye. Living life every day, let it die, not okay, all I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.